Hi guys, Danny here and welcome to my video how to get started with ReactorCraft. Now a few of you might have already seen my how to get started with RotorCraft. It's going to be similar but not exactly the same because RotorCraft you can start from you know when you first start the game uh, and I would advise you to do that but ReactorCraft you have to have a good game going and um, this is more like mid-game um, instead of you know you can't just start it from the start uh, you will need a lot of supplies but once you have that uh, you can do various things and I will be going over what I think is the most efficient way um, others might not agree with me but from what I've seen um, the steps I'm going to talk about are the most efficient if you're going to be playing around with reactor craft so yeah let me get started well let me go to survival first and walk around and even though there are neutrons flying you will see that I'm not getting poisoned why is that well Reka recently added uh, well no he had added the code for before but he fully implemented the hazmat helmet and the chest legs and boots just the hazmat suit now what this does is if you played with IC2 you should know basically it protects you against radiation and as you can see right here not getting poisoned I can even take these guys nuclear waste in my hand and I'm not getting poisoned uh, but look at this pig for example throw it on the ground the pig will start getting poisoned there you go you can even see it on the pig's uh, potion effect it gets it has poison and nausea there you go and I pick it up and I don't have poison or nausea so that's good so getting the hazmat uh, armor armor hazmat armor hazmat suits what do I call it? yeah getting the hazmat suit would be the uh, should be the first step and you make the hazmat suit like so using the radiation shielding fabric and to make that uh, there are two ways you can either use depleted uranium which you can get right away or you can get use the depleted uh, TRISO fuel. That's also an option. Or you can just use uh, lead and uh, I thought it's on uranium as well. No, it's just lead uh, directly as well. So this should be your first step. Always get the hazmat suit. You know, so you won't die. Um, now, after that, it's just a normal uh, process. You have to get yourself some pitch blend. Pitch blend is a lot more common now than it was before. And I will advise you to save up the pitch blend to don't uh, macerate it or pulverize it and get just two, maybe three um, uranium ingots. Uh, save up iron and the pitch blend until you have enough to make the build that I have shown a couple of times. Uh, the one with the solar tower uh, that requires around four five stacks of iron and if you've been you know conservative with iron and if you've been using the extractor or any machine not the extractor sorry uh, add the, uh, the this guy the grinder uh, that gives you into three of any ore that you put into it or you know save up iron anyway uh, you'll have enough so you know that's completely fine Get yourself the uh, extractor, and then with the extractor, you can just send along pitch blend and get yourself either four or five, or you know, a really good amount of um, it'll be around five to eight. Five is the average, it could go anywhere up to eight uh, amount of pitch blend. However, say you've just been extremely unlucky and have not been able to find pitch blend, you also have the option of getting coal so coal and then sending that across so as you can see let me just get 64 I already tested this out but there you go I have the extractor hooked up to an industrial coil outputting an insane amount of power that's why the speed was so ridiculous okay now this is just to show you guys that you can actually get not too much but mind that this is just a stack of coal which is one of the most common ore you can get so if you had a silk touch silk touch pick uh, maybe the bedrock one or something 
there you go from one stack you got 15 pitch blend and then you can just smelt it to get the uranium so you know uh, while you could do that uh, and um, well you could use multiple uh, stacks of 64 amount of coal to get a lot of pitch blend and you know most likely you won't have that much coal or left over uh, but you know you can use it to top up your uh, uranium supply so that's always good so after getting the uranium you you know go about the normal process um use uh, the the fluoride crystals and the uranium to make the uranium hexafluoride and then you send the uranium hexafluoride in an isotope centrifuge to get yourself the uh, uranium now let me just do this top this up Is this working no Oh yeah, okay. I'm in. Um, I'm not in creative, so this is not going to be too handy. Okay. I should go to creative right now. Uh, but what I'm trying to show here is that the ratio of the items you will get from this. So the ratio of depleted to enriched, as you can see here, uh, we got 64 uranium dust depleted, but only one enriched. Uh, this ratio is very important because if you have a look at the recipes for the fuel of different reactors, the normal reactor uses the uranium fuel pellets, a fresh one, and then it uses up the, uh, the uranium to get yourself the depleted uranium. But if you see here, uh, you get a lot more depleted uranium than the normal enriched uranium. And the recipe for that is just, you know, 4 enriched uranium dust to 1 uranium fuel pellet. But my advice here is to skip the um, normal reactor completely and go directly to the breeder reactor. With the breeder reactor, you can take the large amount of depleted uranium fuel, um, large amount of uranium recipe there uh, take the depleted uranium surrounded with just one just one fuel pellet the fresh one to get yourself four breeder reactor fuel and these guys are just whoops that's not it there you go you just use four depleted uranium dust and because you have a ridiculous amount anyways uh, that'll work for the best so then you just send it across through to a breeder reactor and uh, yeah basically you just let it do a thing now, yeah, I don't have the proper setup. You won't just have the breeder reactor out like this. Obviously, you'll have the different uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, sodium going inside of it, creating steam, so on and so on. Um, but yeah, basically, the breeder reactor will do its thing, and it will convert the breeder reactor fuel into plutonium. And then you can go back to your normal uh, fuel core, and then you can use the, uh, the plutonium because the plutonium is, according to this book right here, okay, it's an alternative fuel for the normal fission reactors, but it's extremely dangerous and more volatile than uranium. Basically, I've noticed that it just gets used up a lot faster, and it produces um, higher temperatures faster. So it is very, very handy to use this. So yeah, that would be my thing. Um, take the take the uh, depleted uranium dust, turn that into the um, depleted uranium, and get yourself some uranium fresh pellets from these guys. Combine them to get the breeder reactor fuel, and then take the breeder reactor fuel that's already been used up, which you know, which has been turned into uh, plutonium, and then take it to your uh, normal reactor. And that's how you can use the most amount of, um, you know, you can you can make it the most efficient. Um, obviously, you also have uh, the option to get one of these guys, the pebble bed reactor core. Um, while these guys, uh, all the normal fission reactors, while these guys are, uh, they are quite dangerous. Uh, if I didn't have the hazmat suit on, I would be poisoned and I would be dead really quickly. However, uh, the pebble bed one, it's not radioactive at all. 
basically it won't poison you. So I could have the fuel pellets and I can have the depleted fuel pellets and it wouldn't hurt me. So yeah, there you have that option as well. And because the uh, recipe for this is just one uranium dust plus four graphite, which is just coal. Coal dust, you just turn it into graphite. Uh, basically you get one fuel pellet per. So if you had, uh, you know, really uh, a small amount of uranium, uh, but you still wanted to make power, you always have this option as well. And like I said, it's a lot safer. And like I showed at the start, you can also use uh, the depleted fuel to make uh, more uh, radiation shielding fabric. So that's always handy. And like I said, this is not as dangerous. So uh, if I didn't have my suit on, I wouldn't be dead in a couple of seconds, unlike these guys, in which case I would. And then normally you just, you know, you take the um, the nuclear waste, obviously, um, it will poison anything, but because you're wearing the hazmat suit, it's not going to poison you. So, there you go. Okay. As you can see, the squids are being poisoned slowly, and that's why the hazmat suit is so important. And then you can just uh, use the normal approach, go to, um, and then you can just use the uh, the nuclear waste disposal drum to uh, store all the nuclear waste, or the spent fuel container to store all the spent fuel, and so on. Uh, as you can see, the plutonium already been used up. I had filled all these guys up and uh, within 10 minutes they were completely used up and uh, the breeder reactor however has been going on uh, for quite a while now uh, for at least 25 minutes uh, but the plutonium gets used up really quickly it's a lot more volatile and um, I'm going to assume that it sends out more uh, neutrons as well um, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it does. Yeah, it does It does get broken down faster, so that would be my assumption. And that is that. Now, my the other advice would be to avoid making the fusion reactor unless you have a lot of, a lot of supplies, a lot of the materials, and only if you have a machine, as in like a computer, that can handle it, because it is incredibly CPU ex um, extensive. That that's what it's called, right? It it just it it it, it will slow you down. Uh, you might have watched Reka's video. You might have watched my video. Um, while the uh, rotary craft and the reactor craft machines um, in game actually do uh, slow your computer down as well. Um, Breaker has fixed that a lot. It is a lot better now. Um, however, making the uh, you know the really glowy, shiny, giant structure for the nuclear fusion, it will slow you down by quite a lot. So I would advise you to not make that uh, until end game, and possibly in another dimension. Hopefully, if you have Mistcraft, uh, I would advise you to make it on your uh, main um, dimension because if it explodes it will destroy a very large radius and it might just poison everything and kill everything as well so yeah uh, so I've dealt with all this everything uh, I've talked about the coal and that is that um, so yeah uh, those are all of the things that I wanted to talk to you guys about um, if you didn't listen to anything else, just, you know, uh, Reka has added the hazmat suit. That should be the number one thing. Uh, avoid the, the normal reactor, go directly to breeder, and then take the plutonium to go back to the normal one. Uh, or, alternatively, just stick to the pebble bed, because that's a lot safer. Okay, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a like, or subscribe for more Minecraft videos. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.